What's up guys, this is Clark Factor, you may recognise me, I uploaded a video to Rich's channel about two months ago maybe, but I'm here, he asked me back for another video for his British Invasion Week, and I assume this Invasion Week coincides with your Independence Day, which was I believe around 200 years ago maybe, correct me if I'm wrong, where America wanted independence from us, the Brits. Okay, so this isn't the first British invasion of America, but it's up there with probably the greats like the Beatles, we have the Spice Girls, and more recently, nowadays, we have One Direction. <laughs> oh god, I can't even keep a straight face while saying that. Okay, so Britain and uh, America are two very different countries. For example, our most famous royal family are these. Whereas, for example, America's most famous family are these. <laughs> and that's that's not a bad thing. I mean, we, we would all give Kim the big sloppy D, right? <laughs> okay, so moving on to what I wanted to do in this video. Now, whenever I go over to America, which is quite often, as I do love your beautiful country, is I struggle with some words every now and then because over here in England we have different meanings for some words that you do. For example, the first one is quite a dangerous one because we call a bum uh, a bottom, like a butt, an ass. We call that a bum and uh, you in America you call a bum somebody like this which can be very dangerous if you are out on the town and you see like a hottie and you're like oh my god look at that bum or oh I would stick my big penis inside of that bum it may get you a different look in America so be careful on that one the next one sort of leads off of that which is the word fanny now in Britain if you were to say fanny it would mean two things really. It would one mean the vagina or the pussy. Or sometimes if someone says, oh you fanny, it pretty much means you're a bit of a wimp or you're a bit of a pussy. Pretty much it's self-explanatory. Whereas again in America, the fanny is flipped around and becomes the bum. So it can be quite awkward <laughs> using that word in America so again be very careful how you use that word okay so this next one is where shit gets real we have a nice dessert over here and we call it jelly now if you love jelly and you go to America and you want some of this wobbly goodness and you went into a shop and you asked for jelly you'd be surprised what you got because you wouldn't be getting what you think you'd be getting this now this jelly in America is actually called jam in England and if you actually wanted what we call jelly you have to ask for jello they just took the Y off and added an O can you believe it it's really confusing I know but bear with me because we have more oh no we are not finished okay so moving on we have the confusion surrounding what we wear on the lower half of our body now in Britain we wear pants or underpants and then we wear trousers now in America I don't know what you wear but you wear your trousers are pants so I don't know what you wear under those unless you're all going commando and that would just be a little bit strange okay so this next one is slightly frustrating as well because they are similar sounding words but have slightly different meanings so over here if you order fish and chips you would get this and the chips would be like potato fried potato whereas in America if you ask for chips you'd get something like this which again is a slightly different variant of a fried potato but uh, more of a snack compared to a meal okay so this last one can cause real confusion and cause utter mayhem if got wrong so if you are in England and you want to smoke cigarettes we sometimes call them fags and I'm not too sure why but 
common term for them is fags. Now, in America, if you asked for a fag, you you may get a a man who likes men, <laughs> which can be real strange. If you said, "Hey, look at that guy. He's got a fag in his mouth," there could be totally different things in England and America. And I think America, I don't know what you call them, maybe smokes, maybe that's me watching too many 1920 American dramas, but uh, I think you may call them just cigarettes as well. But that one can cause real confusion. Okay, so that's pretty much my list over and done with. That's what I came up with. If you have any more, be sure to uh, leave a comment in the section below. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video, guys. Come over to my channel and check me out. Uh, I upload videos every few days and if you've enjoyed this I'm sure you'll enjoy the rest of my channel. Okay that just leaves me to say thank you to Steve for this opportunity to upload to his channel again. It really does mean a lot and I will leave you guys with the Mayor of London. Bear in mind this guy is in charge of London pretty much. This was from last week and is probably the greatest insult of all time and is why Britain is so good. Uh, peace out guys. Thank the Mayor for his attendance because the Assembly uh, members have decided they have no they don't questions want to, scrutinize. to support to you. Are you saying they're abdicating their duty Thank to scrutinise me? Okay. Are you saying they, don't, okay. they haven't the guts Let's to put questions to, to me? What Great is it, um, supine protoplasmic invertebrate jellies.